Hello all, this is Markfield13 coming at you live with a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV of Realm Reborn. So this is the MMO version. Uh, you know, putting out all on the table right now, I have never played any of the Final Fantasy series. Um, I don't know, I just never got into them. I, I've heard people recommend them left and right, I just never bothered to check it out. Uh, a couple of friends are playing this. And uh, I decided to go ahead and check it out because I've been looking for a new MMO. Uh, I kind of like the genre, but don't like World of Warcraft or uh, Rift anymore. So, uh, gonna check this out and see what it's all about. Alright, so I just installed, I just popped in the uh, pre release information, and I have done absolutely nothing in game other than mess with the configuration a little bit. So, we are gonna jump in here and see what's going on. Uh, Cat. Hide in it. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three I great I can't hear that. I don't know how to change my volume. There lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Eorzea. Eorzea? The annals of Eorzean history chart the rise of the graphics of awesome. great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the astral eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. Uh oh. Looks like bad stuff's going on. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, there the are like Northern groups of eras going of together. Alamal amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. He doesn't look good. Those are cool cannons. Desperate resistance. The forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Well, that's pretty cool. Yet, even as I guess those are the uh, raid, the heroes. The lesser moon Dalamon was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. Is it like that Death Star? Core, the Elder oh shit! Bahamut That's a dragon! His fury Did they just say a hobbit? I gotta go back and take a look at that. It sounded like it said, Unleashed a Hobbit. Just like... The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the error to its... Hell Fury end. missiles! Just... All right, so we built this chamber around, or maybe we didn't build a chamber around the dragon. Is it too strong? I don't know what just happened, but it's really bright. Five years Ooh, I like the uh, the sunlight night. coming in. The light of These are incredibly good graphics. I'm really hoping this is what in-game looks like, and this isn't just rendered separately. To raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. What the hell? Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. That's pretty cool. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Are those like thin game mounts? I wonder if the short guy is really significantly smaller, or if he gets the same size mount as everybody else. Arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale in game is pretty good, not amazing. Uh, I guess, I guess that has to happen. You can't have those great graphics all the time. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. What is the crystal? I guess if I played the series, I'd know, but, uh... Chocobos. Chocobo? Chocobo? Chocobos. That sounds familiar. Those are the, the mount things I looked up. Welcome to your is the, uh, before you can begin, you must first create a character. All right. Um, is there a menu I can get to? Um, I guess not. 
Alright, it's a race and gender. Um, Lambo, known for their particularly short, round ears. Traveling long distances by foot. So I guess it has like a movement speed thing. Oh, okay. That guy's a little bit taller. Uh, two clans. There's a Wildwood, Elysian, Elysian. And then Dusk, Right, Elysian. Okay, so these are like wood elves. He looks stoned. He looks seriously stoned. That's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of, uh... Funny. What is... Smoke... Whoa! Okay. Uh... Small clothes is obviously no clothes. Uh... Okay, so race doesn't do anything to stats or anything. Okay, well that's... that's good. Holy shit, there's the short guys. So tiny. I kind of wish I could scroll in a little bit more. Uh, this guy looks like a demon cat. Well, he's also got the tail, so yes. It's a cat man. And that's like an orc. Ogre. Big, huge. I see, I can see this being like a warrior type class. Eh. Ooh, that's cute. And then... That's... Close to being like a normal... There you go, there's a normal person. Then you have all the different... Holy crap, that thing is tall. He's even taller. He is... <laughs> he is like three times... Three times her size. It's like, he ate her. Her whole family. He ate her whole family. Okay, I am making fun of the classes. I should probably just pick one. Um, let's go with the dude. So, either this normal human-y guy, or the cat guy. Cat guy looks kind of cool. I could go with the stoner. Let's go with the stoner. Bleh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. These environments look pretty good. You get a little bit of aliasing here. Out in the wood. You can see it as you spin around. All the uh, brush looks really nice. It looks like it's all moving at the same time. So it's not individually rendered. I know some games will do that. But that uses a lot of power to a process. Shadows look pretty good. Everything looks really good. Are these going to be closer to uh, in-game graphics, I guess? Like, running through this with this render? Is this closer to uh, what we're actually going to see? Because if so, it's, it's not nearly as good as the stuff at the beginning, but that's, under that's understandable. But this is still pretty, pretty nice. I see I didn't do Guild Wars 2, so I don't know how it compares. These environments look really awesome. This is inside. Oh, oh, no, don't change anything. 
So... Oh, no, just kidding. I was gonna say, you have all lamps all around the room, and then I have a distinguished shadow. However, I have a distinguished shadow because there's a lamp right above me. Lighting actually looks uh, pretty nice. You have some hard shadows here, and then it fades off into softer shadows. Looks like they did a uh, really good job with the rendering. Uh, stuff like fires and trees are flat. Yeah, and I guess that's a design limitation. But, okay, so. This looks uh, pretty good. Oh, there, yeah, I can see the, uh, there it is, the four, or basically it's two, uh, oh shit, stop. It's two different uh, textures there, connected in the middle. Son of a bitch. All right, what if I turn the camera this way? There we go. All right, so yeah, you've got one texture facing to my left and to the right, one texture facing forward and backwards, so that when you look at it, it gives the appearance of a, a 3D texture. And it's by far the easiest to render. That's why they can render so many of it, so much of it. So, there's some limitations, but that's all cool. Alright, now, uh, how do I go forward? What is this? Graphics, time of day. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so I've picked the stoner dude, a lizard. Okay, so, that's... Wait a minute, so this does have attribute differences. So, is it just like all of one type of any carrot class has these, you know, strength 19, 23 dexterity, 18 vitality? Is that like each class has one of their characters that has those stats and then their other character has this? Um, because that would seem. Okay, let me check. 1923 and 2020. So. 1923. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right. No, so it they, they does, they does matter. Uh, what you uh, pick does affect your statistics, because this guy has 23-20. Um, less intelligence, more pie. I actually don't know what pie is. It? I have a feeling that's something like social interaction or something like that. Um... So I think for my first character... No, 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 no. Did not mean to hit confirm. Alright, so... Let's see what this guy has. So this guy has... Intelligence, mind... This one has a decent bit of dexterity. Not so much strength and vitality. This one has dexterity, intelligence, mind, and pie. Let's, uh... uh -huh. Um, let's check out these guys. Mm -hmm. Strength, dexterity, mind... This one has dexterity, mind, and pie. Mm -hmm. These guys have... Strength, vitality, so this is more like a... I'm guessing more like a warrior type class. Um... This guy's kind of even across the board, except for dexterity, so... It actually looks more like human. Mm. Let's go back and check these out. Uh -huh. This guy is pretty even across the board. This one has a bunch of strength and vitality. Uh -huh. um, hmm. I don't really know what I want to be, so I, I'm kind of picking in the dark here. He has a bunch of dexterity and intelligence. He's kind of even across the board. A little better with intelligence. Um, I'll go with this one. Because he's kind of even across the board. So, okay. So now that i figured that out, I can make him... Uh, there really isn't that much of a height difference. I'll make him a short dude. Oh my gosh, there are so many... 
So many options. Uh, looks pretty good. Hairstyle. What the hell? I like how the hair is rendered. It looks really nice. A mop head. I like this one. All right, hair color. Ooh, that brown looked pretty nice. That doesn't look bad. I like that a little bit better. Definitely don't want it to be a funky color. Okay, I think brown's gonna look the best. Face. Yeah, that looks like an old guy. Oh my gosh, I like I haven't even hit puberty yet. That one's just a soft face. I like this one. I can look like a stoner. How does that one look? That looks a lot better. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous how young he looks. Alright, jaw. I like that one a little bit better. I feel like I'm at like an ophthalmologist, you know, one or two. One or two. One, all right, so one or two. One or two. All right, so your eyes are this. Eye shape. What the hell? I think my eye shapes okay what you can change the iris size really that's ridiculous it oh what was that that was like a red that was pretty awesome it's like a deep red i gotta go for more of a brown i like that let's look at that red hue Ah, uh, that's a little better. Brown. Uh, let's go back to skin color and change the daytime. Okay, nope, just kidding. Change it back to nighttime. It's a bit easier to see. Let's give it a more fleshy feel to it. I don't know where... That doesn't look bad. There we go. Looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, my color eyebrows, really. I like that one a little bit better. Yeah, I'll stick with this one. Nose. I just wanted to see how many things you could customize. I think that's good. Mouth. Oh my gosh. You need some lipstick for that? Oh. Okay, hold on. I just realized I have lip color. Wait a minute. Uh, it's not... Oh, it's very hard to say. Oh. I was gonna say, I'm gonna give him some bright red lips. Alright, that's the best one, I think. Lip color. How's that black lips? Uh, it looks earthy enough. Alright, ear shape. Whoa, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. Ear size. Bam! Like somewhere in the middle. Enough to tell that they're pointed, but no need to be like handlebars. That's about good. Facial features. Oops. Yes. 
I don't know why, but I, I get reminded of a Three Musketeer like this. No scar. Nope. Nope. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, you gotta have a whole package. Alright, there we go. Tattoos. No. Nope. Really? Face paint. You could stick a butterfly on your face, really. A flower. Stars. Paint my cheeks red. That's interesting. Face paint color. Black. Yes. Because why not? Voice. All right. What the hell? <laughs> That's not bad. I like number three. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's not even making the right facial expressions for that kind of a laugh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, no. Uh... What? I like that except for that. Okay, I like this one. I changed my mind. This is number four. Alright, confirm. Save appearance data, yes. What? Save slot? What? Okay. It's hmm. a bit odd. Select your character's date of birth. Pick a random one. Let's go with the number four. Umbral. And the number 13. No. Five, Umbral, 13. Yes. I like this one better. I don't hmm. know what this does for me. What? The deity? Elemental attributes. What do these do for you? That's. Uh, See, okay, one issue that I have is you having to make decisions about your game style before you know how to play the game. Because, like, if I pick something that's really bad at a mage, for instance, and then I decide to go mage, well, I've just screwed myself because I didn't pick the best character to start with. And I know a couple points here or there can't, you know, don't make that big a difference, but they really could. So I don't... I don't know what it changes. I don't know what these things mean. Looks... Maybe fire, ice... Wind, earth... Maybe that's wind. I don't know what that is. Uh, that could be like energy. So this guy has pretty high stats for everything. This one has also really high stats for everything. Well, I guess these are like the fire clan. This is the uh, not 
purifier. This is like water. So I guess that's what this number out here is, is water. This would be air. So 50, this one right here, the green thing is air. No, this green thing is, this is ice. This is, oh, I guess this is water. Blue is air. I don't know. And then fire, earth, magic, or energy, or ash. Oh, I guess celestial could be it. So let's go with a fire, because fire's cool. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Are there any difference between these two? Nope. Okay, so either radiant sun or ancient shell currency. Let's go with this one. I don't know what these are for. But... Oh, okay, okay, so this is my actual... That's what jobs... Wait. Oh. Okay, so you could... You pick... These are the jobs, I guess. You pick whichever one you want and you can change these. Which is cool, but all the other things, I don't know. Like, the fact that I picked this race over another one, I, I feel like that would put me at a disadvantage. Um, Alright, well, let's figure out what these are. One-handed blades. So this is like a warrior. Yeah, sword and shield. Yep. So it's gladiator. This is... Pugilus, Pugilus. Um, hand to hand combat. Close quarters. Agility. These are kind of like a roguey type things. Marauder. Great axe. Brute force. Strength. Okay. Lancer. Holy shit. Can't even see it. There it is. Um, okay, so these are just two-handed pull arms. These are kind of like a, a, I guess, a longer distance melee. Okay, well, with with my job changing, because I'm talking to somebody on the stream here, uh, with my job changing, that's cool. However, if I want to play a mage and I pick a character and the uh, one of that, that class thing that I did, not class, but the thing I did before, I, I'm locked into that, I, I think. Like, I can't change the fact that I'm this, this elfy guy. I can't go to that little short guy who could be, like, they could have the stats that are better for a mage. So yes, this guy might be better at an archer rather than a mage, but if I wanted to play a mage, why... I mean, it just seems kind of lame that I get stuck in and this character is only going to be good, or is the best at you know, archery, as opposed to a different type of character and that other affiliation thing that makes me good at mage. So why am I going to be locked in here? I, I get that you can change. That's really cool. But I think the characters should all have roughly base stats. Um, it shouldn't matter what, who you pick to play. You should be able to play every aspect. So, all right, so Lancer is just kind of a long distance melee, it looks like. Archer, obviously ranged. Um, I'm thinking about Archer, maybe. Uh, let's look at Magic Conjurer. Throws Force, Absorbed Ether from immediate surroundings, Wander Cane. Um, okay. Thermaturge. The Thermaturge. I don't know if I'm actually saying that right, but uh. Call forth command, late and Aether once. Yada yada yada. Sorcery. Okay, so um. Doesn't really explain anything. Arcanus, this is probably the uh. Fireball, Ice Storm, that kind of stuff. Yep, looks like it. Alright, um. 
So you got three magic guys and uh, five different other guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick Archer. Uh, let's see how well I do with the bow. I don't foresee myself doing all that great, but I can change it later. Or, oh my gosh, there's more things to do. World as a server. Okay. Um, server, server, server. I was told something. I don't remember where I was told, though. I recognize it when I see it. Siren! I hope that's it. I really do. Um, how do I... Okay. Siren name. Forename and surname. Um, crap. Well, I could call it Mark Field, but if I did that, then I would never be able to have another Mark Field. So I'm going to have to come up with something different. Uh, let's have... Crap, I'm bad at names. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll be back whenever I figure out a name, because it's probably going to take me a while. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, and I have finally decided to name it. Last name will be Markfield. That way I can keep all my characters the same. Um, and I am going to be just changing up the first name to make each character unique. And hopefully I can remember all their differences. So we are going to jump in game with this. Oh man. Tunnel of Light. What is... What is that? It's like a flying mouse with a balloon or an orange on a stick and carrying a like a mailbag dropping out coins. I'm not entirely sure. I have not a clue what I've just gotten myself into. I'm probably going to get a bunch of people like, wow, you're such an idiot. That's from Final Fantasy VII with this and that and... Again, never played any of the games. A mogul. What's what's a mo mogul? Mo mogul? I don't. Okay. Is somebody talking? I can't hear them. Like, where am I? Am I just out in the cosmic space? Whoa, shit, that looks bad. That looks very bad. Should probably not go near him. Or her. Dude's just standing there, like, what's up? That other guy just, or girl, just crawled out of this dark demon portal and they're in all the Final Fantasies. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a pimpin' hat. Oh, man, that's pimp. He's evil. He's bad. Oh, am I shooting him? Um, about time. What is going on? I'm so confused. Oi. You all right, lad? Why is there no audio? Does there really no audio in this? Uh, I guess not all the games have audio. Kind of use the Skyrim that, that they actually talk uh, to you. Used to it soon. 
these graphics are okay, I guess. You can definitely tell they are dumbed down from what the it's the 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 da mo mo mugle mo mugle furry creature. I like that. Okay, these are the furry creatures. It's like a mouse with a bat. It's like Pikachu and Zubat had babies. Koopo? Is that like an insult? Where are Moogles? Uh, we live in this wood. Look at your heroes, makes you special. Well, I can't hear you either. You aren't talking. You can tell us something. So I'm watching the background, and it looks pretty cool. The rendering on it's pretty nice. It, it definitely reminds me of Skyrim. Kind of has the same feel to it. I like the trees. The trees are done really well. Um, have you witnessed anything sus suspicious? Really? Keep looking, nice to meet you. What the hell? I'm not sure. Things are evil. They drink his, his alcohol, wine, beer stuff. Why do I have to keep you company? Get one of these chicks to do it. Vermont. Avoid dying. Um, what do the dots do? Okay. Let's go three, don't we? Okay, so uh, Definitely gonna probably have to try this multiple times to uh, figure out what all the different responses are. And I'm also curious, if I just sit here and wait long enough, do we ever get to where we're going? Like, does this chat get cut off? Curious. Well, this scene probably just ends right here, and I don't get to see anything else till uh, I click. Which is... Oh, maybe that was the end. No. One thing such as breathing, ain't no profit, and being dead. That's a fact. Alright, so now I'm gonna wait a little bit, see what comes out of here. Because we're turning left. There's a tree. I'm guessing we're turning around it. It's possible we're just going around in circles. Yep, we are going around in circles. Maybe? No, we stopped turning. Now we're turning to the right. Oh, it would be nice if I could look around, but I can't. Alright. Cutscene in a minute. Uh, I guess this is the cutscene. Halt, go no further. What the hell is with the masks and shit? Okay, he just like mouthed like eight words and said three. <laughs> oh shit. Quick, 
pick it up, put it on my bow, and shoot it back at them. What's going on? Skirmish. Am I going into like the first person mode? No. What the hell are those things? They're like chickens and battle suits. Also, we're on the hover cart. That's kind of cool. Why did you have to kill that poor innocent creature? Probably wasn't born innocent, but still. Now we're back at the slow pace. Dude's got a cut across his nose. Nice of... I-X-A-L? Ixel? Ixel? Last time we had those feathered fiends. So you just take care. First trip? Sure. I'll play along. Um, ins and out. Okay, so he's gonna tell us about stuff. Rainbow! So you have flowing waves. That's pretty cool with the water. The uh, texture here is really flat. I don't know if I can like have it stand out a little bit if I were to have higher graphic settings, but it looks a little flat. Um, I don't know what this said. I was just trying to skip back to where we were changed scene. Well, I just saw something. That was like a person. Look. Left. I just saw something, like a person or maybe it was just a flower. I'm losing my mind. Okay. So the black shroud, the ancient hey, audio forest, again. close to the heart of Eorzea. Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Gridania. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce these names. That's a really cool uh, water mill there. Well, not that Once one, but a sanctuary one. from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could hey, not crystal forestall thing. the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. Seventh Umbral Era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. It's still really cool that we're in like a hover craft thing. Have fun. There's the two youngins. Just give a stranger some money or something. So he wants me to come cool and famous. May the matron take him to her bosom, that he may never want. What does that even and mean? In his heart, so serenity, purity, and sanctity. Probably should have played the other games in the series before I jumped into this one, because there's I'm sure a lot that I'm missing. But uh, hey. There it is. So is this 14 or is it 15? Ooh. I heard about the 14 original release and how it didn't go so well. Am I ever going to actually get to play 
or uh, am I just kind of stuck watching the game play itself? I mean, it's cool and all, don't get me wrong, but uh, it seems a little... Oh, I can see some frame rate drops in here. It seems a little elaborate. Also, this thing is really flat. I guess he knows everyone. Burr tenant. Protect our nation. Become friends. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's zooming out like I can actually play. Stuff's happening. Yes! I can... I, I, I still can't move. Uh, control scheme. Mouse and keyboard. WASD. Hold on both things. Jump. Turn. Left is move camera. Okay. Oh, I can't. Oh, there it goes. Oh, man. I can... Yeah, yeah, Okay. Really? Chill X, bro. Okay, so I am definitely losing some frames on this. Um, system configuration, graphics. Uh, let's go to standard desktop. Okay. Let's. Oh crap! Change? No, not changes lost. What the heck? Uh, standard desktop. Apply. Why did it not show our shadows? Okay, there we go. Now we're back up to 60 frames. And everything looks pretty decent still. Well, I jump in credit blue quickly. There is collision between myself and characters. And you can't move once you're in the air. No, jump on the damn thing. Let's see if it'll... Yes. I can jump on it. Sweet. So, NPCs offer quests with an exclamation mark above their head. Let's zoom out. So I can see stuff. Okay. Click on the accept button in the lower river left to add quests. Oh, the left of this. So there's my reward, XP, and gill. I guess it's the currency. Um, Alright, so it looks like I have finally made it... Okay, so I can't move, and my camera's actually locked to my quest target. And I can't go... can't rotate any further than that. Okay, so register myself with the Adventurer's Guild. I'm gonna do this, but yeah, so gill is money. Nice. Alright, well that's it for now. That was all the whole intro of creating a character and getting through all that. So I am done with this. And what is... Oh nice, it's got a little clock in the corner. I should probably not let my wife know about that because then I can't use the excuse. I didn't know what time it was. Um, I don't know what that means. But uh, anyway, there's lots of stuff I'm going to have to figure out. Uh, but that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time.